uh, welcome to the training session uh, of the of the Fiber Hackathon. Um, we are more than happy to have this uh, great participation. Um, and uh, we start immediately. Uh, I'm Tonya Sabia, Marketing and Project Manager in Fiber Foundation. And uh, I'm the responsible of the hackathon um, in the fire, um, in the, in, including in the fire summit and in the startup day. Um, this is uh, the uh, unique uh, training session uh, we are uh, going to um, introduce for you. But it's also uh, there are also other occasion to understand more about the fire technologies. Mm -hmm and to support you during this, uh, these weeks uh, before the um, submission of your, uh, of your proposal that will be on 11 of October. Um, just to introduce you how we uh, would like to uh, manage this virtual training session. And uh, the first thing is uh, the modality of interaction. Um, in this sense, we cannot uh, collect all your uh, questions in this session, but you have uh, different uh, channels uh, to ask information after the training. One of these is the, to write an email to ask at uh, fire.org and uh, then you can uh, include all your questions related to the, 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 the hackathon. Um, for the technical questions, uh, um, we have the question and answer platform in Stack Overflow. And uh, then you can also uh, include um, your questions uh, in um, related the technical issues you, you have. And uh, during this uh, training session, uh, we will explain also uh, the terms and conditions to participate to the hackathon and uh, uh, the um, um, Google form uh, that we will use uh, to, uh, to propose your um, application. Um, just to start, so I would like to introduce uh, the um, CEO of our foundation, uh, Stefano De Pamphilis. That he is also the president of the jury of the of the hackathon. And uh, then I will present, I will introduce you also Christina Bransetter. They see she is the um, a CMO of Power Foundation. So please, Stefano, if you would like to start. Thank you, Tonya. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm quite excited uh, to have this uh, new hackathon, although the name uh, is not completely proper in the sense that um, we are experimenting a new way of uh, um, implementing this kind of uh, competitions uh, because uh, as you maybe already have read from the regulation that Tony will take sometimes later today to explain everything will be um, uh, virtual and uh, you have all, even more time in order to prepare a good uh, solution so competition we expect uh, quite uh, high competition um, there are already registered something like more than 40 teams, uh, although today we have some of them. So thank you all for you all being here. Again, um, what uh, we expect uh, from, uh, from you and also the support we can give you is about creating some nice solutions uh, some nice ideas uh, using fiber and promoting the adoption of fiber and also uh, with the aim of engaging you in the fiber community if at the end you would like to do so if you are not yet a member of uh, the uh, fiber foundation according to the various levels so um, besides uh, as, as Tonya said, 
Uh, yes, we have this webinar today where uh, uh, Jason will give you some technical insights of what is fireware, why is fireware, and what are the, the main technical characteristics. Um, and this is uh, uh, rather important, but of course, uh, you are always uh, uh, welcome to submit questions uh, and uh, also through the various channels that we have put at disposal. Um, the, the requirement, of course, is to use uh, fiber technologies. Uh, at least this is very much uh, uh, key. Um, at least for the first three challenges that we are going to, uh, that are open, that is uh, uh, open data, smart uh, city, and, and, uh, and manufacturing. For what concerns uh, smart agri-food, uh, there are, this requirement is a bit more relaxed, but of course, uh, the more you use fiber, the better. What is fiber? Fiber is a set of technologies around uh, uh, the concept of uh, context management. Uh, they are open source technologies that allow to build uh, smart applications. And um, those technologies are domain independent. This is why you see in this challenge uh, four different domains uh, and allows you to build these uh, solutions uh, on top. Solutions can be uh, also closed software. So even if uh, our technologies are just open source, on top of them, you can build also closed software solutions because uh, the, uh, the license we use are license that allow uh, exactly this if you use the technology through the APIs. But all the technologies that uh, we expect uh, that are uh, offered by Fiverr and that we expect you to use, uh, certainly the, the context broker, are, uh, uh, are offered through APIs, particularly to REST APIs. This allow to have quasi real-time applications, which, is, which are, of course, the most interesting. In our definition, smart applications means that uh, you have to uh, these applications are applications that are context aware, so able to change the, the answer to the users because they collect some information from all around. Uh, con information can be collected through uh, IoT devices, can be collected through uh, interoperability, interoperation with other systems, with legacy systems, so uh, that is uh, the, the, the thing. So, so, this is very uh, a, a critical element of what means smart application for us. It's a quite shared concept, but of course, uh, uh, it's better to always clarify. The context broker that will, will be extensively explained later on by Jason is uh, a component that exactly allows you to model the knowledge around uh, that is interesting and around uh, your uh, application, but it's also uh, uh, what is, is also important is that uh, this uh, uh, component comes from the implementation of specific standards. In particular, this is NGSI, uh, whose evolution is NGSI LD has been uh, in, uh, released by Etsy. So a uh, key element, again, for FIWARE is to implement, to not implement the wheel and to use as much as possible standards. This is true for the context broker. This is true for security, where we use OAuth and some and others. This is true for uh, big data and so on. So um, the, what uh, FIWARE offers is uh, that the, all the set of technologies we we provide, they are easy, integrable each other, and they are tested to be that. The technologies are uh, ready to use and market ready. And in fact, there are many products on top of this technology already available. If you go in the fire marketplace, you can see them. Um, also, what may be interesting is to say that um, the self-context broker uh, has been 
uh, recognized uh, and endorsed by European Commission through the CEF initiative. The CEF initiative is an initiative of the European Commission where it, uh, they put at disposal of uh, public administrations all over Europe a set of uh, building blocks in order to build cross-border applications. And, and the context broker is one of them. At the moment, we have eight building blocks, so this is uh, rather important. This means that uh, public administration are, in, are uh, invited to use those building blocks and, and context brokers is, uh, is one of them, and they can even put this into public building and so on. This increase enormously the, uh, the opportunities that uh, are around fiber uh, technologies. I don't want to take more of your time. I think I gave you a bit an overview uh, of what we are expecting and what is uh, offered to you in this, uh, in this uh, for the implementation of this hackathon. I wish you all the best and uh, a very fair and sound competitions and among all of you. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, Tonya, I give you back the chairman of this event. Thank you, Stefano, and um, thank you for this um, uh, introduction that explains you uh, the benefits to, to participate in this hackathon, looking for the um, looking for the, the, the initiative uh, that we have within the European Commission and also uh, within the other um, projects linked to, the, to FIWARE. And uh, so I will start to say that uh, at the very beginning when we launched this uh, uh, hackathon, the challenge expected were three. Uh, smart cities, open data, and smart uh, um, manufacturing. Yesterday I sent you a message because there is today a big surprise for you. And this surprise is that uh, we had another challenge in the agri-food sector. This means that in, in, this, uh, in, the, in the next uh, days, uh, um, the terms and condition and the uh, um, and also uh, the page of the of the of the hackathon will, will be updated with the, this new new challenge. Uh, so you can have this four occasion: or apply for the smart cities, or open data, or smart manufacturing, or uh, smart agri-food. Of course, you can apply just for one of these four challenges, just for one. And uh, uh, the other important things is uh, that uh, uh, all the information uh, related the uh, participation to the to the hackathon um, could be uh, centralized to um, our uh, ask doc uh, at, at fiber.org, where you can uh, um, include all the information as a team. So this means that uh, um, when you create your team and you have a question, just one person can ask to our portal. So in this way, we can centralize your required and understand from which team will, uh, will came. So related the dates and time. So the hackathon, and this is the uh, third hackathon that uh, uh, Fireware will present in this uh, in this last year, and um, all the um, um, the steps that you have to follow are related the uh, all the virtual steps, uh, virtual session that we prepare from now to on. One of these uh, will be. Um, for example, if you need more information or you need um, to have uh, more um, uh, technical uh, information or uh, uh, more support, uh, on Fiverr are available also a set of um, uh, video 
uh, and training where uh, that you can uh, that you can see and they are in different languages uh, in uh, japanese uh, um, spanish and also um, italian uh, so this is another service that we can provide you in this uh, in this month if you need uh, additional information uh, um, on the fireware uh, technology you can also uh, see this video and uh, there are other two options to um, understand more and these uh, these options are the next webinars uh, that will be on 11 of september and 18 of september uh, this is not uh, mm, these are more related all the technical questions that uh, that you have and other important things are the deadline uh, to submit the, the proposal. It will be expected on 11 of, of October 2019 at 5 o'clock Central European time. Uh, I kindly ask you to um, don't not go uh, over the deadline because uh, we need to uh, we accept just the application come at, uh, at five o'clock and uh, uh, the virtual pitch in front of the evaluation committee will be on 15, 16 and 17 of October. But of course, uh, you'll be not committed in all three days. We prepare a calendar and according to the challenge where you apply, we um, include you in the dates uh, where the jury, for example, will listen the uh, smart agri-food or uh, smart cities. And uh, the announcement of the winner um, will be during the startup day in the Fireware Global Summit in Berlin on 24 of October. So uh, this is uh, another important thing. If you if we can go to the uh, startup day page. Um, Jason? Okay. So, uh, all the things uh, related to the Fiverr Hackathon are virtual, but in the moment that you apply for to participate to the Hackathon, after um, uh, you will receive, uh, you will know if you are winners or not during the our startup day in the in the Fiverr uh, summit. The startup ready six hours is our uh, um, startup day, including the Fiverr uh, uh, summit, and uh, will take place on 24 of, of October uh, in Berlin. And uh, many many important relevant interest things are available for you in the startup day it is not just to receive the prize for the for the hackathon but you have the occasion also to uh, meet the fiber community we have an investors uh, um, sessions we have um, um, cared, um, perks and benefits that can come from the meeting with the uh, corporations uh, for sure, we have uh, a meeting room uh, in our Open Minds Aperitivo where you can uh, meet important person for your uh, business. And for sure, uh, we have also a presentation of the next uh, open calls or the next uh, um, uh, benefits that you can, where you can apply and a new occasion that you can have to receive the funding opportunities. So. Uh, the startup day in the Fiverr Summit is, is not just in the usual and the ordinary day that you can find in any in any um, uh, events, but this is something uh, something more. And uh, in fact, I I encourage you to register now because now we have an early bird, and you can uh, uh, participate uh, to, uh, with a minimum cost. So. Uh, uh, getting back to the to the hackathon regarding the uh, regulation um, I would like also to um, underline some um, some aspect related the who support our hackathon of course not just Fiverr foundation 
but we have the European Commission that supports this hackathon with the program uh, Connect Euro Facility. We have the MIDI projects uh, of the Commission. That's uh, this um, this project supports the, in particular the challenge related for the um, uh, smart uh, manufacturing. And uh, uh, with the, the, the new uh, challenge in the, in the agri-food, there will be another relevant and key projects uh, uh, in the European panorama that support also uh, this, uh, this hackathon. So to win a prize uh, of 200, 2,000 and, and 500 euro is not the unique uh, um, prize you be have, but you also the occasion to enter in this big community where you can find uh, a corporation, public administration, associations and uh, other startup and small and medium enterprise where you can do business together. So I will encourage you to participate to the hackathon and of course to come to the startup day because it's a very unique occasion uh, for all the global startup and not for just the European startup to uh, have perks and benefits. Regarding the price, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, 2,500 euro uh, for the challenges related to smart um, agri-food, smart, uh, and uh, smart, smart agri-food, uh, open data and manufacturing. Uh, for the smart cities uh, uh, challenge, um, we, you will win a um, uh, um, space in our boots in the uh, Smart City Expo World Congress in Barcelona. That's, this is the, one of the most important events of the smart cities uh, in the smart cities European panorama. Um, but not just European, because there in the Smart City Expo World Congress, you can find many, many uh, companies uh, come, of course, from uh, all the part of our continent and, uh, and of our world. So, and um, you will uh, win. Uh, so, the the tickets to enter in the in the Smart City Expo World Congress and also uh, accommodation and travel, uh, including uh, and uh, we will pay course also for this uh, um, uh, for these things so um, but it's not just this uh, the winners will have the opportunity to have a one year of technical services provided by Faber foundation and one year of free social media and promotion and global visibility through the channels of Faber foundation where we have more than uh, uh, 20,000 um, uh, contacts so it's a really great occasion and uh, this is why I will uh, encourage you to participate and uh, to ask uh, uh, for all the information and we have enough time because the, the proposal uh, will be, the, 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 the dates to submit the proposal will be on 11 of, of October. And uh, one uh, um, interesting thing to, to consider um, to consider also is uh, um, please uh, before to submit your proposal read carefully the terms and conditions that you can find in the um, bottom part scroll down please Jason uh, of the uh, of the page uh, there are uh, uh, terms and conditions for participants to 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 take part um, of the hackathon so please download this uh, this um, this this paper but please uh, um, before uh, to upload because this is will be updated with a new challenge related to agri-food in two days this will be update with the new challenge but please uh, uh, in general uh, the structure of the of the terms and condition will be will be this and um, please uh, again if you have uh, if you need information please ask uh, to the um, ask a doc uh, fire uh, ask at fire doc, doc org 
and uh, uh, also to the um, information that Jason provide you uh, related the technical question that we have in the Fire Question Answer platform and Stack Overflow. Okay, thank you, Jason. If you would like to. start with your presentation. Sure. Good morning, everybody. Um, the idea of a exclusive uh, um, presentation for this is that uh, um, this particular section of the uh, presentation will not be recorded, uh, but um, there are already several uh, existing videos, as I said, explaining what Fireware is and what Fireware does. So I'm just going to uh, 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 pause the video and then get started of the architecture uh, of, the, of the solution and um, of course we require the link to a demo that can be real a prototype a video a mock-up everything but just to have a, a something concrete and um, of course uh, a plan of the final development and deployment phase of your solution because we need to understand the eventual investment in, uh, in the solution that you create. Regarding the market analysis, it's not so complex because we require the just the main competitors of your solution, the um, sketched business plan of your solution, and uh, um, of course, in the part of the, of the team members, we need, of course, your, your, your skills. Um, and the other questions are, uh, related the organization name, website, the contact name, the ordinary question that you usually find in any in any format. But this is a draft because here we have to add the part of Smart AgriFood, but it uh, will be available uh, or this afternoon or uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, but will be you have to go always in that page that we show from the very beginning, the page of the Fireware uh, Hackathon in the Fireware website. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, please, Jason. Uh, Thank you, everybody. And thanks to Jason and Tanya for the great introduction. It's always a pleasure to, uh, to see and hear this. Uh, yeah, my name is Christina. I'm the CMO of Fireware. I'm happy to hear with you today. And sorry that I couldn't join in the beginning. I'm, uh, I had a connection problem, but I stayed for the whole session um, to be with you today and now. So I just want to give you, um, for closing this really very nice and comprehensive session, some details about our summit, because the hackathon is very much connected to that. And um, I was just, uh, actually, um, Jason, if you would allow me, um, you don't need to uh, put me on the screen, but just please go on the website of our summit. Okay. That's, um, that would okay. be absolutely fine. And I will just give you a few details on how this is running. So the hackathon is linked uh, to our uh, Lighthouse event, which happens twice a year. This is the Global Fiber or Fiber Global Summit. And this time for the first time, it happens in Berlin. And as you know, Berlin is a super place for, uh, for investors, for startups, for everything, for everybody who has great ideas. And this is why we put some very special attention. Thank you very much. That's the screen you can see now uh, on a startup day. And this is what you can basically see in this, on this website um, with every information, not only on the hackathon, but at the start update itself. And also on our two days event uh, with regard to Fiverr, where there's tons of people coming from all over the world, uh, from universities, from global companies, from sm smaller, medium-sized companies, startups, uh, people from organization associations. So it is the big get together for Fiverr where we not only show the latest highlights of what we're doing in terms of projects and technology. And this is what Jason is showing you right now. And this is only the very, very first taste of it because we are um, basically adding more every day. 
uh, people coming with business interest, with networking interest, and really exchanging also uh, new trends and how to collaborate. So it's a really nice um, community event. This year, we want to take advantage also of, these, of, of this opportunity that we are under the same roof with one of the most important exhibitions in Germany uh, in, in, in fall, which is the Smart Country Convention. What I'm saying, the most important, biggest, is obviously in our sector. And they have uh, a three, they run a three days program of which two days shows also our Fiber Global Summit. And for all the three days, we also have a big booth with lots of our partners in uh, on the same space, 200 square meters fireware booth. So it's really impressive. And not only that you can connect to the exhibitors there, if you're interested to be an exhibitor yourself, or maybe, you know, gather other partners uh, together and share this and get a working station there together, you can do that. We still have some very limited, but a few spaces left. Uh, there is this program that Jason's showing us now. So who's interested in joining the whole the whole two days of our Fiverr Summit actually gets a wide program of what you can see about startups, about trend topics. There's a huge track, two days track on developers where you can really learn everything you need to know of Fiverr. Lots of workshops. Uh, where we can jump more intensively into specific topics. And there's just one example that's online here, which is Connecting Your Facility, which is, by the way, also one of the projects Tonya's working and leading in. Uh, very interesting from the European Commission. And there's much more. Um, what you cannot see yet is all the details behind it, because we've closed only on Monday our call for contribution. And right now we're adding all the things that we want to have basically in these boxes that you can see. Um, and it will go online, I think, over the next 10, 10 days. So you have all, all details. Our target groups are, as I mentioned, uh, basically everybody from a developer up to a mayor. And we also, and this is one of the big focuses for this event, look at smart cities, but not only. But this is why you see people invited and speaking like mayors or city CIOs and so forth. Um, to get your ticket, um, you can get on this website here. It's always the same website, the summit site. And there's different types of tickets, depending if you just want to join us for a startup day or if you want to come for all days. And a really nice benefit is that from 1st of October, uh, the Smart Country Conventions ticket will cost 170 euro. If you stay with us, you have that price already included. Anyway, for those who just want to join a day because they are focused on the hackathon and just want to see startups or just want to engage really very quickly with some people, there is a startup day ticket. Um, so please feel free and just go there and get one. Um, it's a very nice program, you know, it's lunch included. We have a lounge in the same room and the back side of the room is a huge room, uh, which uh, is um, built up by Mindspace, one of our partners. So we have a really nice, cool lounge uh, where you can hang out and have talks. And uh, there's enough space for networking because we will have an aperitivo uh, just tonight before the program that Jason is showing us right now, there is even the big startup party of Smart Country Convention. So who arrives on the 23rd, um, gets basically from the party straight away into our program, uh, where you can then meet venture capitalists, uh, for other investors, you can meet some of our affiliate partners, like Mindspace, um, you know, they will have special offers with discounts for our members. Uh, it's just nice to have that uh, as an additional benefit. Uh, but most important, surely, is that you can engage and talk about your ideas and most probably solutions uh, with all the people attending. So the last point uh, that I want to really stress is 
why is Berlin so important to you if you participate to the hackathon? And this is why you, because you have the chance to be on stage and pitch as one of the three or four winners, might be four, because I'm sure you spoke about the Agri Food Hackathon as well. Yeah. Actually, thank you. You have actually four uh, big challenges. So the four winners have the chance to speak at the big plenary and present uh, the solution as well as pitch it. We will have venture capitalists still around, but also companies who might be interested to collaborate with you. There is very nice prices that I know Tonya has shown before, but you have to be present in order to win it. Okay. Um, for us, it's also important to support you in what you're doing. And therefore, whoever comes to Berlin gets a business support with it. So that means whatever you hack over the next weeks and months, and hopefully it's coming something out really, really nice and helpful, uh, you can straight away bring it into the whole community and not just presenting to one or three people. And this is why we thought this is the best benefit we can offer to you is the hackathon, really nice awards, plus a super wide ecosystem that can support you in bringing that to market. And this is why I'm inviting you to really join us in Berlin. It's a cool event and it has so many things on a one roof. So just go and grab your ticket. And if you have questions, most of the answers you will find here on the side. Otherwise, you just contact us. All right. So I'm open to question as well. We can do it the same way as you did it with Jason and Tanya. So feel free if there is anything still with a question mark. We'll just give it a few minutes. If Jason sees anything, then just let us know. Okay, it looks like everything's clear. Mm -hmm. Seems everything is clear. I see that the question on Stack Overflow, uh, which I will attempt to look at after we've uh, uh, finished the recording. Okay, then I would give uh, give it give the stage back to Tonya, um, and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Christina. And uh, so, uh, again, thank you to all of you for your interest and uh, to participate today in this uh, virtual training uh, session. Uh, we encourage you to get back with us with your wonderful ideas, because uh, the idea of the hackathon, of course, is support your idea. And uh, um, of course, we're looking forward to, to meet you in the Fire Summit. So, uh, Jason, if you would like to add something. Um, I just want to say that, uh, as I said, I'm uh, running two more sessions next week, so I hope to see some of you then. And uh, mm -hmm. I will uh, say the same thing as, as, as Tonya. If, you, if uh, you want to talk to us face to face, well, come to Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.